Welcome to this week's video. Today, we're in Hackensack, Minnesota. Let me introduce you to Lucette, Paul Bunyan's girlfriend. Lucette's a pretty big deal here in Hackensack. Every summer, the old sweetheart days. And it's an event for the family with parade, all kinds of games. Hackensack is in northern Minnesota, really close to the Chippewa National Forest. That's where we're gonna try and do some boondocking later today. They got a festival being held in town this weekend. It's called Back to the Hat. They've got a family fun run, an ice fishing tournament, and later this evening, they're gonna start a bonfire right here by Birch Lake. This will be pretty cool. Chippewa National Forest is 1.6 million acres of land and going right through it is a little road called the Woodtick Trail. This road was established in 1890, first used as a railroad bed to haul logs from here in Hackensack to Longville. The Chippewa National Forest was first established in 1908 and it's the first national forest east of Mississippi. In true fashion I came up here with absolutely no idea if this was going to work and this time it bit me because I got a half mile into the Chippewa Forest, found out that the roads, they're not plowed out here. So I went onto a Facebook group, asked a few questions and found that closer to Longville, some of the roads may be plowed. So we're gonna go check that out. First, we're gonna go through Walker because that town is a lot bigger than Hackensack. It's a pretty cool little town. Let's go check that out. I'm trying to make this darkness go away. Right now, we're down at the City Park here in Walker, Minnesota. Walker's only about 15 miles north of Hackensack, a really cool town. This town is known for three things. Number one, moon dance. Number two, the Eel Pout Festival. And number three, Chase on the Lake. Moon Dance Jam started off pretty slow, but now every year, tens of thousands of people come for one of Minnesota's largest rock shows. The Eel Pout Festival takes place on Leech Lake every winter. It's a really big event. If you guys look on YouTube, I'm sure you can find some really cool things about it. This here is Chase on the Lake. It's one of Minnesota's most haunted hotels. It was established in 1894. In 1898, it was one of the United States' last wars with the Native Americans. It was right here at Sugar Point. This hotel has a bowling alley. Back in the day, that bowling alley was used as a morgue during that war. This place is truly haunted. I've even had some weird experiences in there myself. But don't get me wrong, Walker's known for a lot of other things besides just that. This is a huge tourist town. During the summer, this place explodes. I'm gonna let the past stay in the cold. With that being said, we're gonna get back into the Chippewa National Forest. This town is way too busy for me. Driving around out here, I found a National Forest campground. I haven't explored this area, so I really don't know what's here. Unfortunately, it's closed for the winter. We're going to keep driving, hopefully get in the backside of the Chippewa National Forest, find a place to do some boondocking. Fingers crossed. So far, so good. So we made it back to the Woodtick Trail. Off the Lakeville entrance this time, instead of the Hackensack. So far, it's plowed. And I had a friend tell me that we can get all the way to Moccasin Lake. If we can, that's where I'm open to boondock tonight. There's the boat access. I was looking on a website that shows your destination oh, right now. <laughs> not plowed. That sucks. I was looking on a website and it showed that uh, people were boondocking at this boat landing. Take a look and see what this looks like. Yes. 
Well, it's up to my knees. I think that I would be pretty disappointed if I ended up getting stuck in here. And I do see a little sign by the Moxon Lake. It shows a campground symbol. Golly. I was just mentioning how the wood tick trail was finally plowed, but we got to a spot where it's not plowed any longer. I drove down as far as I felt comfortable with. It's just a snowmobile trail, and honestly, it's a groom trail. I don't want to be driving on a groom snowmobile trail, so we're backing out of this thing. Well, I think I found a spot. And where we're going to be parked tonight? is right here. Oddly enough, no one's even driven on this lake. They plowed it all the way down here. That's it. Not a snowmobile, not a fish house, nothing. It is going to be an absolutely gorgeous sunset right out there. We're going to be parked right there. Have a little campfire. This doesn't get much better. I think we'll be all alone down here tonight. The campfire is going and we're putting together a little bit of supper here. So you can see, we've got potatoes, sausage, carrots. In this container, mushrooms, peppers, onions. Butter goes with everything, so we're gonna get some butter on there. We're gonna go get this put on the fire. I'm trying to get the coals ready here to put the meal on. It's probably gonna take another 30 minutes or so. I'm thinking the bed of coals is probably gonna be good enough to not completely burn it. That's the plan anyways. So we'll let this go for 20 minutes and then we'll put the mushrooms and peppers on. Give it a shot anyways. Well, supper's done. Some of it got a little burnt, but that's okay. I'm ready for supper and bed. We're gonna do a little Hunger Games marathon on the TV tonight and we're calling it. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. This place has been absolutely beautiful. To be honest with you though, I got no idea where we are. We're just driving around up in northern Minnesota, found a boat landing sign, pulled in here. I don't even know the name of the lake we're on right now. All I know is I'm northeast of Walker. Cool thing about Minnesota is these boat landings are absolutely everywhere. The camper stayed really warm last night. Got to about 10 below zero and didn't have any issues inside. We were able to keep the furnace set at 60 degrees. Didn't have any issues with running out of propane or anything like that. I don't run the generator all night long. I usually shut it off around 10 o'clock when I go to bed. I put the slide in because it's amazing how much heat you can save if you put the slide in on these campers. I got the generator turned on, making some coffee. We're gonna be heading out here shortly, going back home.
that's going to be the end of the video. I want to thank you if you guys stuck around this far. Until next week, be kind, be honest. We'll see you down the road.